Wayne Hope joining us back at the desk. Now, Wayne, we've brought you back here because uh, you've had great success uh, with the librarians. You've also had great success with very small business, and we thought you're the man to go to if we want to get TV shows produced in this country, right? <laughs> and now, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, a lot of the guys in the cast have ideas for some shows, so we thought we'd pitch them to, and then see which one basically you want to buy. So, uh, okay. there, there's there's your, your script. That's Take smart. that if you want to jump over there. We've got some uh, some some shows uh, kicking off there. The first one is uh, a remake of an old classic. It's called Night. Rider 2009. Carl plays the character of Michael Knight's son, Orsamington. And you'll be, you'll be playing my car, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. sounds good. Take it away, Orsamington. Hey, Kevin. Are we still hot on the trail of my arch nemesis villain, McBatterville? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Orsamington. We are precisely 3.6 kilometres away from him and gaining ground. And if I may say, Orsinghamton... You can nearly say, yes, Kevin. <laughs> Have you been working out? Your buttocks are fitting extra snugly in my upholstery tonight. This is... Th thanks for noticing, Kevin. A lot of cars wouldn't. This is, <laughs> this is going to sound strange, but would you mind if we found a cl the closest car wash, go through it, and while I get wet on the outside, you can make me wet on the inside. <laughs> this is very... There's nothing I'd rather do, Kevin. <laughs> I want your hands all over my drive shop. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Now, uh, the, the rest of this is just having you having sex with a car. So this is... uh, and the problem is, we should cut out all the talking at the start, get straight into the vroom vroom, a beep beep. Okay, what's the next show? Okay, no, we, we've got we've got more, we've got more. Now, this next show is something Xavier has put a lot of work into. It's called Bear at My Wedding. Oh my God, there was a bear at my wedding. <laughs> I can't believe there was a bear at your wedding. <laughs> I know, but there was. <laughs> Toby McKeith, lazy eyed detective. Okay. <laughs> So this is a show about a guy uh, that had a bear at his wedding and his friend with a lazy eye detective, is that it? <laughs> Not just friends, they're best friends, okay? Eight years ago, Mick Logan got married. At the wedding, there was a bear. And now he solves crimes with his lazy eyed buddy in the underground world of Adelaide. <laughs> I think Adelaide says it all. Let's, uh... <laughs> Not really the direction I'm heading in. Oh, that's okay, that's, no, that's, all right. that's fine. This next show is entitled Island Adventure. <laughs> Better start. Uh, it's actually not called Island Adventure, it's called uh, Super Cop, uh, Badass Patrol. Okay, I play Kim Rogers, Super Cop, okay, solving crimes and breaking hearts. Let's do it. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a hard life out there for a super cup. <laughs> I can't imagine in the land of mime, especially. <clears throat> You're the greatest hero of all time, Kim Rogers. Yes, I am. Thanks for putting it out, Stinky Cliff. I'm mentally handicapped psychic. <laughs> None of this in the email you sent me. <laughs> Not a scary. Hey, Kim Rogers, you'll never defeat the greasy trouser snakes. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sure can fight, Kim. <laughs> I'd hate to be him in that fight. Even if you were acting, it'd be tough. As especially as the handsome actor playing the well-thought-out character Kim Rogers is deceptively strong. I'm going to try and hang out with him off screen sometime. <laughs> Even though he's playing a super tough badass, 
He'd probably fit just as well into a library setting. I should <laughs> definitely cast him in my TV movie sequel, The Librarians to the Shushening. It's pretty. Okay, I've definitely had enough of this show. Of course you have. It's because it's excellent. <laughs> Very good. So uh, you're keen to buy the show then, Wayne? No, no, that's no, that's certainly not what I mean. That's... Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've got another idea. All right, so uh, it's basically just me living my life, and then the, the ABC would pay me to live my life. <laughs> so it's a reality show. I would prefer it if there were no cameras to protect my privacy. <laughs> I love this, and I would definitely pay to not see you on TV. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Wayne Hope.